The Live View screen displays icons for the current camera settings. You already have seen most of these icons on the Quick Control screen or in the viewfinder. Press Info to change the screen and display more shooting information. As we demonstrated earlier, you can change the camera settings on screen. Press Q and use the multi-controller to highlight a camera function. Turn one of the dials to change the setting. Now, try pressing Info two more times. The camera will display an electronic level. This display can help you level the camera, especially when there isn't a usable horizon. Consider enabling the virtual level when taking product shots in a studio or shooting portraits. Another display option is a framing grid. This is one of several Live View settings listed on the fourth shooting menu page. Grid 1 divides the Live View screen into thirds. This grid can help you frame your subject and improve your image composition. We'll explain why in our next section. Grid 2 divides the Live View screen even further. Use either grid along with the electronic level display when shooting subjects with architectural elements. The grid display will help you line up the horizon or building edges. With the aspect ratio setting, you can record images that look as though they have already been cropped. For most photographers, cropping is just part of their workflow. Their camera only produces images at one aspect ratio. If they want a different look, they have to create it on the computer. The 60D can save live view images at the normal 3 to 2 ratio, or you can select one of the other options. The camera displays the aspect ratio by placing gray bars over areas of the screen that will not be recorded. For raw images, the aspect ratio information is saved with the file. It is not applied in the camera. Here's the key point to understand. If you already know how you want the final image to look, you can set the camera to record it that way. For example, say you want to take a portrait of a friend for his website. You know the image will need to fill a small square on the site. You set the aspect ratio for 1 to 1. Then you choose the smallest JPEG setting. The image you record will be a square that's 480 pixels wide. You won't need to crop the photo before uploading it to the website. Another setting that will help you visualize your final product is exposure simulation. The camera displays how bright or dark the image will look based on the exposure settings. If the shutter and aperture settings would create an underexposed photo, the image in the monitor will appear dark. The Live View image will show you the effects of other image settings as well. If you are shooting with an image zone mode, you will be able to see how the ambience and lighting settings will affect the final image. For creative zone shooting, more advanced image settings are reflected. These include white balance, picture styles, and auto lighting optimizer. In addition, you can press the depth of field preview button to check the range of focus.